shut up and sit down. Hello everyone, I'm the Cyber Roof Guru. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Uh, so I want to do a quick video here about a filament review. Now, uh, I don't do these very often, to be quite honest with you. The last one I did, I think, was the eSun Pet G uh, Magenta, which is translucent. It's actually a, a fantastic filament. I, I really, really do like it. It worked out very well. I printed uh, with Pet G almost nonstop for a couple months. Um, and so this is going to be a filament review of the Makers Geeks uh, Who Blue that I got in the Maker box in, let's see, would have been March, I believe. And so the Who Blue, uh, I actually spotlighted it in a previous video here, I think. Um, so this is a part that I printed. It's a iPhone holder part that I printed. Uh, let's see. Um, about a month or so ago. And so uh, I'm going to try and uh, zoom in here. So you can see uh, the blue actually, um, even though it's just regular, quote unquote, regular PLA, it's a little translucent, uh, not completely translucent. It's got a nice uh, shimmer or glean to it. Um, and I think it turned out uh, uh, really well for this part. And I'll show it to you. So this is the cradle for the phone. The phone fits in there like this. And then we have. I think this is version, uh, I don't know, this is version 5 of the holder with the wings that come out the side like this. Um, and then we have uh, the most recent version here of the holder in the blue where the wings still come out the side but they're attached differently and they actually work a lot better. And then I've also created a bunch of uh, these guys which I'm sure no one knows what they are. <laughs> Little fidget spinners here, uh, so it turned out pretty well. Uh, so this filament is, uh, uh, let me, whoops, sorry, focus back in. The filament, it's a pretty good filament. Uh, I like the way it looks. Um, I like the way that it um, it shimmers and it shines. It prints really well. It's a high temperature, high temperature PLA. So I've been printing it at 230. Uh, that turns out uh, to be pretty well. I got to tell you, at least on the Prusa i2 Mark III, i3 Mark II. Uh, there's a little bit of artifacting here. Um, it seems to be consistent. Maybe if I focus in here, I think you can see it there. These little ridges on the top and the bottom. It's fairly consistent. I printed again now this part, uh, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. Uh, and it's consistent with this filament that it always has these kind of artifacts. I, I think it's the printer. I don't know that it's the filament. Uh, one thing I will say about the filament, and I'll show you here. Uh, so uh, typically uh, this part needs uh, a lot of support uh, you can see here I print it vertically like this it needs support um, let me focus a little bit so you can see a little bit better there you go uh, so it needs uh, support obviously here uh, it needs support across the back um, and then in the middle here in the hole it needs support so um, and then the arms actually need support as well on the base just a little bit uh, so uh, this filament is unique in all the filaments I've tried before is the support material sticks uh, very well and it is uh, this is here's a, a little chunk of it um, I saw it laying around because I just uh, uh, you can see here see it, it, it prints well but it sticks well like there's no tomorrow uh, and this is a, a little part from the center uh, it just sticks really well. I've tried uh, fidgeting with the settings in Simplify 3D to make the distance between the, the support material and the actual support a little bit larger. That helped a little bit, uh, but I've never had support material stick like I have with this particular PLA, even with the other Maker Geeks PLA. Uh, so what I'm going to do actually here uh, real soon is print a bunch of uh, these uh, iPhone holders in the Crystal series that I just got with the uh, April uh, Maker Box. And so just to see if it's this particular PLA or if it's kind of like all of the translucent PLA. So uh, that's it. Um, so I, I would recommend it. Uh, if you have some more materials, just be aware it's going to stick. Uh, it's it's a good filament. I think it, it looks it looks amazing. I mean, come on, guys. Um, here, I'll show it to you uh, a little close up. Look at that shimmer and that shine. This is not translucent PETG or even translucent uh, PLA. This is just regular, quote-unquote, regular old PLA. 
Um, and for a spinner, uh, that just looks cool. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, so I like the color. I like the way that it comes out. Uh, I don't like the support material sticking. That kind of that kind of just sucks. <laughs> so uh, all right. So that's it. Hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, please leave them down below. As always, if you don't like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Have a great day.